Welcome. Whoa, I'm a little hot. My name is Jamie Basham. I'm an associate professor at the University of Kansas, but more importantly, in this conference, in this organization, I'm a co-founder and CEO of the UDL IRM. This conference and this organization, by and large, was founded to convene people, to convene people around universal design for learning. Not convene just educators, not to convene just uh, education leaders, researchers, industry folks, but really to focus on developing UDL leaders. We believe everyone in here is a UDL leader. We believe there are many UDL leaders throughout the world. And today, we have about 400 people gathered here with us in Florida. We are representing nine countries. More than 35, 36 states last time I counted, five Canadian provinces, and we are streaming to three other continents across the world. It is, when we started this organization a few years ago, Roughly six years ago, we started with 20 people in a room. And the whole concept was, the entire concept was that if we develop a network, if we develop a network of all the stakeholders in education and bring them together to overcome the barriers that we have within the learning environment and to develop solutions for all kids and for all learners, whether they are in a K-12 school, whether they're in higher education, getting a teaching degree, or whether they are getting a degree in chemistry, we believe that we can bring people together that can solve the problems of today's education system and develop learning environments for the future. Today, we are gathered here we are gathered here to celebrate universal design for learning and, and establish it as the foundation by which we develop learning environments for all learners. And so for the next couple days, we're going to be here working with each other as a network of individuals to learn from one another, to all become UDL leaders. We have established this conference and this gathering, this summit. And we want the entire summit to be, there's no hierarchy, it's completely flat. You can walk up and talk to someone, anyone, whether it's uh, Skip, Skip Stahl or David Rose, a couple of the founders of CAST and founders of UDL, they're sitting here in the room somewhere, or it's whether it's the person sitting next to you or across the table, we want you to be able to go up and say, hey, I've got something I want to talk to you about. We want it to be one of those sort of environments. And so we encourage you, and we have developed ways to engage throughout, but we'll encourage you to go find someone new, talk to them, learn from them, and, be, and help them develop into their own UDL leader and develop yourself into UDL, to be a UDL leader. We have to say a couple thank yous. Uh, we are here today and in this, in this great conference facility because we have some visionary leaders in the state of Florida. The folks at uh, PSRTI and the Technology and Learning Connections Group, specifically David Davis, Janet Good, Gary Piercy, these are folks that have really supported. <laughs> really supported this thing coming together. Really supported this thing coming together. They've really helped us come to this facility and come to this state, and, and they've encouraged us. It's been a multi-year sort of process to get us here, and, and we're going to be back next year, we believe, at this point. So we're looking forward to continuing that relationship. The other thing people may not know about the IRN is we are a very, very small nonprofit. We are primarily made up of volunteers. And I want to, everyone on the volunteer planning team to, if you could stand up just real quick here. Stand up real quick. They said I could have the mic. They're not going to get rid of it. 
There's people all around the room kind of standing. We have people in the hallway. I think we've put together, I think we've put together, uh, hopefully I've put together something that's going to amaze each one of you and kind of help you grow where you're at. So without further ado, let's get this thing kicked off. We have a couple more uh, sort of thank yous to say. I want to have David Davis come on up, and uh, David's going to say a couple words. Let's hear for David. Thank you. Um, I'm basically up here to introduce uh, Dr. Batch to um, come and, and welcome you here to this conference and to Florida. Uh, George M. Batch is professor and director of the Institute for School Reform and coordinator of graduate programs in school psychology at the University of South Florida. He is the director of the Florida Statewide Problem Solving Response to Intervention Project and just lost my place and co-director of the Florida MTSS project for the Florida Department of Education. In addition, he is the project director for the Student Support Services Project, 21st Century Community Schools, HIV AIDS Education, and related grants from the Florida Department of Education. Dr. Batch has worked in education since 1971 and served as a school psychologist, building principal, district administrator, and university professor and researcher. He is a licensed clinical psychologist, certified school psychologist, and building and district administrator. And he's my boss. Would you please give a warm welcome to Dr. Batch. Thank you, David. Good morning. Oh, you can do better than that. Good morning. Good. Well, I may be David's boss on the organizational chart, but those of you who know David know that it probably actually is the other way around. Um, so I'd like to welcome all of you uh, on behalf of the Florida Department of Education and the state of Florida. We're so happy you're here. Um, your goal is to have this amazing conference. Our goal for three days for you, those of you from out of state and the guy here with the hat, is your name Brian? I am, sir. All right. Stand up again. You're, he's... He's from Michigan, and look at the outfit he has on. He is, it said Florida Love, he is the embodiment of our goal for conferences like this, and that is to slowly but quickly separate you from your money here in Florida. And the more you spend and the more clothing like that you buy, we can help more kids in education. So Brian, I really appreciate your doing that. Thank you. Also, um, for those of you who are here, here, here from out of state, um, I live 62 miles from here, and it took me two and a half hours to get here this morning. So welcome to Florida, and, uh, and please leave your money so we can better educate our kids. Um, a couple of things that I, I want to mention, I was told I had three or four minutes. Um, David Davis came to me, I don't know how many years ago it's been, five, maybe six years ago and said, you know what, the ATIT, AIM, UDL stuff really needs a home in a service delivery model here in Florida. And our service delivery model is MTSS. And if there's something that I've learned in my, this year, 46 years in public education doing all that stuff that, that David said I've done, is that what moves students' performance is high quality instruction delivered effectively and efficiently. We cannot have chicken droppings and random acts of education, particularly for our kids who struggle the most. So in Florida, we adopted, it's been a long time now, 10, 12 years, RTI, MTSS, as our way of organizing and delivering highly effective and efficient instruction. This past year, our, cha our chancellor of, of pre-K-12 education sent a memo to all superintendents saying, that the Florida Department of Education will be providing supports for districts in a multi-tiered system of district supports. What will all districts get? What will some districts get? And what will a few districts get? Which probably equates to a SWAT team of, of one form or another. But what I have also learned is that that moment of teaching and learning, and by the way, in the United States, we use separate terms. 
That's not true from other parts of the world. They assume that there is no teaching without learning and vice versa. We separate them out. It begs the question, if we teach and there's no learning, is that the same question as if a tree falls in the forest and there's nobody to listen to it, does it make any noise, right? So this, this issue of high impact instruction came to me full circle when I was a building principal. I started doing walkthroughs as, as all principals do and I saw random acts of instruction. And I didn't like that. And I thought, why is this random? Why are we seeing such variability in instruction? And in my world, good planning leads to good instruction. So I quit doing walkthroughs in classrooms and started walk doing walkthroughs in PLC meetings where lessons were actually planned. And because you cannot implement a lesson well in the moment while you're trying to do everything else that was poorly planned. So that also begged the question for me about universal design for learning. I love universal design for learning, probably for different reasons than you do. The key term for me in that acronym is design. Well, I think UDL is viewed by many, many people outside of, of your group as what do you do after when what was designed didn't work? So that begs the question of houses are designed, right? And when it doesn't work for you, you then remodel them. But the remodeling, how many of you have remodeled a house? I'm going to put my hand up. It took me three years to remodel a house. The remodeling is constrained within the original design. So if we design well, we should be able to accommodate less. When we design poorly, we accommodate more. So where does this fit for me as as a principal, as a district administrator, as a state leader, it fits in lesson planning. Universal design for learning, the three principles that we all know, maximizing the way that the stuff is represented, maximizing the way that students can display their, their knowledge, and using all of that to ensure that we engage students actively in that process. It has to occur during lesson planning. Everyone needs to be at the lesson planning meeting who works with kids and whatever we're going to design has to be designed for everyone in the place where everyone's planning occurs. And if we have title teachers and special ed teachers and other people who are not at that design meeting, at that design meeting the scope, sequence and pacing of learning is determined. If the other people who are involved with our struggling students or students who are not achieving where they should be achieving are not out of that are not at that meeting whatever is designed is going to be a disynchronous for those other people so as you go through your conference for today and tomorrow i would really ask you to have some courageous conversations and important thoughts about where the impact of universal design for learning will have its greatest effect, where in this process of schooling kids. And we cannot have people outside of this room thinking that UDL is text-to-speech for kids whose fluency is low but have the capability of accessing content as long as we remove that barrier to learning. It has to be part of the water in the fish tank in which everyone swims. So I want to welcome you. I want to thank you for giving me this forum here for a couple of minutes to, to challenge you, to ask for you to help us school kids more effectively and efficiently. And if there are any additional ways in which we can separate you from your money, please let me know. Jamie, thank you. David, thank you and welcome. Thank you so much, Dr. Bash. We're glad to have you here. And that was a very inspirational um, talk. We appreciate that. Uh, so we're all here swimming in the fish tank, right? Good. OK. Um, a quick introduction. My name's Sue Harden. I am also a member of the UDL IRM board. And I am this year's uh, summit chair, um, part of the summit planning team. Uh, welcome on behalf of all of our uh, UDL IRM members. We're so glad to have you here. If you haven't found it yet and you're looking for the Wi-Fi network, here it is. It's just uh, pretty simple, UDL 
Our password is Summit17. Um, we ask that you please be social with us today. We'd like to see our Twitter trend. Do you think we can do it? All right, let's, let's aim for that anyway. Our hashtag, again, pretty simple, hashtag UDLIRN. So what, if you're tweeting today, please include that in your um, tweet. Just a note, how many of you attended pre-conference uh, sessions yesterday? Look at that. Were they awesome? All right. They were. So look in your mailbox by lunchtime today. You'll have those pre-conference surveys. We encourage you to please fill those out. Uh, we value your input, and I know the presenters do as well. So we will share all that data with them uh, and use it again, of course, for our next summit. So look for those in your inbox if you attended uh, just a note, the Crusader game is up and running. It's, it's started, so if you haven't logged in or got started yet, please go ahead and do that. The instructions to do that are in the program guide, right? Yep, and they're on the, they're on the website. And on the website, on the front page of the UDL IRN website. And Brian is your go-to guy if you get stuck along the way. You got questions, Brian is the man. <laughs> he is. Uh, and then the last thing I want to say, and I'm going to pass it off to Brian to get us kicked off to do some really fun learning this morning, and uh, networking actually is where we're going to start, is that we have a, a research survey that we'd like you to complete. There are cards on your table, so you don't have to write, write this down quickly. They're there for you um, to refer to. The survey asks good questions about what you're doing as an implementer, as a researcher, as a teacher. Um, all the roles that uh, make up our UDL stakeholder team, they are asking questions about um, uh, what you need and what you know, and you'll see that they're gonna put that into practice tomorrow. So we ask you to do that early today so that they can get the data and use that data for our session um, tomorrow morning. All right, and with that, I am gonna pass it off to Brian Dean and let him introduce himself. Hey, what's up, y'all? How's, it, how's the, uh, the UDL family out there? Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Do, you, you want me, do I need to turn down my suit today? No? We're good? All right, so um, I want to say, you know, one of the big pieces of the, the IRN is uh, the network portion um, and connecting at many different levels, connecting through learning um, and, and large large groups, but then also connecting with each other. So today I'd like to kind of acknowledge who we have in the room uh, by running this protocol called Just Like Me, and it's very simple. The first thing you do is I call out, you'll see them come up on the screen, uh, different um, uh, questions. And if you identify with that question, I'd ask you to either stand up or identify in some way by saying Just Like Me, right? And you stand up and then you sit down and then the next one comes up. And each one that, that resonates with you I'd love for you to stand up. And then the last one is a little bit different, so I'm going to hold that one uh, kind of at the end, okay? I'm, I'm, okay? All right, let's do this, right? Okay, so just like me. So I am a PK-12 teacher, or educator, I'm sorry, educator, just, just like me. Just like me. Cool, sit down. Next one. <laughs> Post-secondary educator. I can't hear you. Thank you. How about an administrator of some sort? Ooh, look around. Hold on. Stand up. Look around. Woo! Yes. Not that I don't love the, all the rest of you, but that's, that's the first time we've had so many administrators. I love it. How about this next one? Educational consultant. Just like who? Just like me. How about ed tech industry leader? Just like who? Wait a minute. Stand up again, please, because... Yes. Give us some love. Yes. And my man Steve back there. And then finally, prof or professional learning provider of some kind? Just like who? Stand up, stay stand, and look around, folks. Woo! All right. And just in case we missed you, if we missed you, and we didn't call out something that you resonate with, can you stand up? Parent. Parent. Oh! No, please stand back up. Oh, we got a parent, folks. 
Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, so next portion, we're going to do it again. So the first time was kind of our trial, but this one, let's see. I am a UDL implementer. Just like me. I am a UDL researcher. Just like me. Yeah, I am a UDL networker. You all better get up. Yes, yes. How about this? I am passionate about designing to the edges. Yeah, yeah. Developing expert learners. Yeah. You know what, folks? Why don't you just stay up on these? <laughs> How about some agency and advocacy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Inclusive culture. Come on. Growing our UDL community. Yes. All right. We can sit back down for just a minute for a quick, quick break. Stand up if it's your first time here. Now, on this one, I want you to stay standing. Look at this, folks. Woo! Stay standing, first-timers. I, I want you to stand up if this is the fourth time you've come to, a, come to the summit. Fourth time if you come to the summit. Look around. Right? Raise your hands. Fourth. I didn't hear you make any noise, though. I got to be honest. <laughs> There we go. They've been here since the beginning, folks. Stay standing. Don't sit down. I see you, Louie. Don't sit down. Stand up if it's your second time to the summit. Okay. Okay. And we left out one. Stand up if it's your third time to the summit or identify if it's the third time to the summit. Yes. Here's what I want you to do. Now, everybody's standing, right? I told you the IRN is about networking, right? So what I want you to go and do is I want you to introduce yourselves to some people. I want you to find four people, introduce yourselves to them. These are gonna be, this is going to be a new crew that you're going to hang with. So it can be people at your table, okay? All right. <laughs> and listen, but, but if you want to move around, please do so. Find some new people. Talk to some new people. And here's what I want you to do with it. I want you to share some of the tips if you've been here before. I want you to come to consensus on some kind of outcome. What are you guys looking to get done today? or in the learning that we do. I want you to try and take a, an ussy, not a selfie, an ussy, which is harder to say than you think. Take an ussy, and then we want you to tweet it out with IRN. And then finally, I want you to share it, anything, share your, your time, your, anything that you have here on UDL IRN. Now, if you, can I see this? How many people were at networking last night, made a selfie stick? Yes, if you did, I hope you brought it with you. Right? All right, go find some people, folks. Talk to each other. Look at, look at the love. I see people giving hugs. <laughs>